Hey guys, it's Jess, welcome back. Um, you're gonna have to excuse my wet hair, it's 42 degrees today at the moment in Melbourne, Australia. I'm stinking hot, but I felt like playing with makeup, so I had a shower, got dressed, now I'm gonna play with makeup because I feel like it, which is kind of silly because it's just gonna come off later anyway, but let me know in the comments down below if you do that. But I wanted to come on today and kind of do makeup that like what I do to make me feel cute like you know when you're having those days when you just feel eh it's been one of those weeks for me got my period probably TMI but you know oh well um and it just makes me feel run down and blah and makeup perks me up so if you're one of those people that love to do makeup to perk you up then give us a thumbs up keep watching and Um, I haven't done anything apart from moisturize my face at the moment I have a lot of redness I actually think it's an irritation from a skincare product I tried earlier so I'm gonna show you how I cover that what I do to make myself to make myself feel pretty because um, I think pretty is different to everyone but an absolute necessity for my skin because I do have dry skin anyway but I do find the foundation goes on smoother so that kind of helps I'll just kind of dab it in alrighty um I have like a set eyeliner primer. I've got the Essence one, but I guess you use whatever primer and then concealer and a little bit of powder on top of it. So this is actually got toothpaste on it, but it's a Savvy by DB stick foundation that I use as my eyelid primer and it's been working really really well like it literally makes no eyeshadow crease which is what you want I just normally grab it with my finger I don't actually like it as a foundation, but as a primer, it's really, really good. Well, we got a physician on this formula powder. Going in with my designer brands by DB Foundation. It's a long wear 24 hour foundation, full coverage in porcelain, I think. Classic Library. Mm, I need a porcelain. It's got its yellow tone and it covers my redness. Still trying this MUA stippling brush.
thing I love about this foundation is that it's effortless to use as in to blend out and to look flawless and it's buildable which I like A little bit more. Favorite concealer. I love this concealer. I like that really bright look under the eye. Some would probably say, I know that's too highlighted, but I like that look. I think I'm actually going to get another one. Yes, I do a lot of highlighting with the concealer. My Chi Chi blending sponge. If I see redness peeking through, I generally go over with my finger. This bronzing palette or colour is really, really good, pigmented and cheap. $2 from Kmart. Because I'm looking rather pale. See how much product comes on?
using the Models Prefer palette. Going with the transition colour. So I like to use this as a warming transition colour. I don't know, like a more deeper transition colour because it's a really pretty colour. the difference on that eye and that eye. So if my eyebrows look any different, it's because I filled them in off camera. I'm still trying to perfect that W7 eyeshadow palette. Basically I got a matte black eyeshadow and used it like an eyeliner. I think for summer it works well. <laughs> 